Hi everyone. So I was having a little sort out and I found a ticket from when I went to see Michael Bublé last September and uh, I thought I really ought to keep it but uh, it's just going to get lost so I've got this um, little, uh, I don't really know what it's called, um, sort of a journaling uh, pad. <laughs> I think it must have been a bit of a reject because it's a bit grubby on the back. Just that one sheet but uh, anyway <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about that um, except now I can't close it. Here we go. There we are. So I'm going to work on this front sheet. Um, I thought the pages were 8 by 8 but in actual fact that's the whole album so um, I'm going to measure how big this actually is um, so I think if I'm going to layer some paper on then that needs to be seven um, and if I do it seven that way that's too bigger so I think seven and a quarter seven by seven and a quarter I think so uh, let's see if I can get that oh there we are we've done it there we are it's flat now so I've got this piece of paper and I'm going to use this side so I'm just going to with my trimmer measure the right size so I said seven we'll save that bit by seven and a quarter um, there we go oh that was a bit skanky right <laughs> Okay, so this is our, oh, there we are, well, I suppose I could have done it a bit bigger now, never mind, I've uh, committed now, so that's going to go on there, I'm going to put my um, ticket in there, and we'll decorate around it, and I'm going to put that on a mat, I got this card today from Gainer Boy, so I think I might, oh, that's just right isn't it just the right width so let's see how far to cut this um, let's measure this so we've got oh, a little bit of a border all the way around so I reckon if I cut that at three and a half so let's get this in this is quite thick, so I hope this is an actual fact. Let's get my, excuse the noise, get my guillotine and measure this at three and a half. I think that's what we said, isn't it? Yes. There we go. That's much easier than using the trimmer. Oh, excuse me while I answer the phone. Right, back again, sorry, that was the phone. So we're going to layer the ticket onto this silver card, which is very pretty. Um, now I'm going to put some tape on this because uh, that foil might not uh, like wet glue, so I think this might be the easiest thing to do. Go over it with a bone folder just to make sure it's stuck down properly. And then we will use a pick tool just to lift a little bit up either on each side rather than peel it all off and then we can get it in the right position before we stick it all down so I'm going to get this and then what we can do is we can move our we can position what we want in the right place before we actually stick it down so 
I think that looks about right. So here we go. Gently pull off those edges and then we can stick them down. Yep. There. Now, we have to get this stuck down as well, but um, it's a huge thing, isn't it? And I'm not really sure what else I'm going to decorate it with. I'm going to just get some ribbon. I'm going to cut it off here. So just excuse me while I unravel it. I'm back again. <laughs> okay, so... I've got this and I've got this ribbon um, and because it's silver I thought that might be quite nice now do I do it diagonally like that I think so here we go I think that looks pretty good like that so what I'm going to do before I stick this piece down is just to put some let's get a thingy both sides hold it down I'm going to put some thick tape on here double-sided tape to use oh maybe not no I don't think I use that one I think I use this one and that one is a bit thick, it's might have trouble getting it around the corners, so and we'll ooh, we'll position it across diagonally. Um I think that will do. There we go. And then I can cut some of this off don't need too much down and certainly not sticking over the edge like that there we go and uh, we'll do the same with this side cut that off there we are so we have that stuck down nicely get rid of these little bits Now I'm going to stick my photo down, my ticket down on there. So I think I will use wet glue for this. Oops. There we go. And then we are going to position that up there, I think. About right. And I'm actually wondering whether I took any photographs from that night. I should have a look. And if I have, then I may add a little one. This is the sort of thing I should always remember to do. And I don't know how I've ripped that. That's a bit annoying. I wonder how that happened. Hmm. Okay, well I guess once it's stuck down it'll be okay. Right, so I'm now going to stick that in my book. I think I will use wet glue again. Watching a few people do scrapbooking pages, and uh, I felt as though I would like to give it a go. So I'm absolutely no expert on this, and as you can probably tell, but uh, <laughs> I feel as though yeah, some nice ways of preserving special mementos from 
a day out or you know a special event um and going to a theater or a pop concert whatever so that's really annoying maybe i can cover that up so there we are we have our basis for our scrapbooking page and um, what I'm going to do is just have a quick look to see if I can find any photographs from the night when we were out and I should be back. Okay so I finally got my sprocket um, which is this HP printer which prints photos from your mobile to actually work um, <clears throat> it needs a little bit of adjusting I don't quite know but uh, it's not printing very well but anyway for the time being I think that will do nicely I'm going to that's me and my daughter by the way on the day we went to see Michael Bublé um, I'm going to map that onto some of this blue sorry if there's a glare this blue mirror card so if I measure this it is two by three so I'm going to cut some of this so if I do three and a quarter by two and a quarter should give us a nice little edge around so here we go so I think that'll look nice on there so I'm going to round the corners on these I think that'll look nice that's okay if it works properly hmm Some little edges on there see if I can cut those off straighten them up a little bit go around this way that's a bit better and I'll do the same on here hmm don't think this is working very well look Oh dear. Okay. Let's uh, give this a little trim. Maybe it's just the foil that seems to be catching. There we are. That's better. There we go. Right. So that can sit on there. I'm going to stick that on with some... No, I'm not because this has got... Um, a sticky back. Let's see. Here we go. Forgot that. Okay, so let's make sure I can try and get this straight. As straight as possible, anyway. Oh well, <laughs> not too bad, could have been better. Right, so now I'm going to stick that on there like so. I'm going to use some um, glue on that. I don't want to put too much in the way of dimension on these because you know you don't want it taking up too much room in your in the album so I think that's good right um I'm back and I've been onto my Cricut maker and printed out 
some music notes as you can see here and I've print, uh, die cut some hearts these are pretty shaped dies from Clearly Besotted and they come with matching stamps um, I didn't stamp them I just use this lovely holographic paper that, or card that um, I got sent today so I'm going to stick these down and uh, hope for the best really now I've placed this um, die cut over that tear in the paper which was annoying me <laughs> so um, I thought I'd cover it up with this here we go get that there I'm just gonna make sure you can see everything whether I can just move in a little bit more there we go right I've just randomly placed these music notes I knew I wanted something like that and uh, thought well I've got the cricket so uh, let's make the most of it um, let's see let's go that way I printed them off in uh, or cut them out in the blue to start with but uh, I figured there was a bit too much blue everywhere so I decided to go for a little bit of red um, foil it's a bit delicate right okay let's pop that down there I hope that's going to stick and that silver foil ribbon we'll give it a go okay and I've got another one up here now like I said this is the first scrapbook page I have ever done so um, I'm pretty sure I could have done a better job but we've got to start somewhere and uh, it's getting oh that's a bit blue isn't it it's um finding the right things to complement your pictures um that is sometimes tricky and as I've not been doing a lot of well not been doing scrapbooking full stop um I haven't got the ephemera that uh, you generally use for decorating your scrapbook pages so uh, oh. so I've got to make do with what I've got and uh, <laughs> this isn't too bad let's see let's decorate these corners and this one and then our last heart up the top There we go. And now I've just got some of these. I thought I'd use some of these black and silver. And another silver one down there. Oh, that's got a bit of glue stuck to it, a bit big. There we go, that's better. And maybe that's stuck well. <clears throat> A few little ones dotted around. Um, 
Medyo maka. Tidy that edge up. Don't want all that glue showing. Okay. And I'm going to put this one down here. There we go. Right. Well, what do you think? Will it do for my first attempt? That's not bad. I shall have to find things now to uh, <laughs> put on scrapbook pages. I'm sure I've got something somewhere from a holiday that I'd like to keep. So um, anyway, oh, put out. There we go, in the middle there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, I will see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.